and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss Linky. Today's story is about wild animals and beauty and it's called The Ugly Five by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Are you ready? Yes! Let's get started. Morning had dawned on the African plain. The lion lay grooming his glorious mane. The kudu looked cool and the rhino looked fine. The bright pink flamingos looked simply divine. The zebra looked graceful. The leopard looked great. Oh, what a picture of beauty! But wait! Who is this creature so ugly and weird with her spindly legs and her gingery beard? with her big chunky chest and her skinny behind. To say she looks plain would be really quite kind. <gasps> Who could this creature be? The wildebeest. Slowly she ambled along, trampling the grasses and singing this song. I am the ugly one, I am the ugly one, I'm the ugliest animal under the sun. My ungainly appearance is second to none. I'm the ugly one, I'm the ugly one. <gasps> Poor wildebeest. She sounds so sad. But here's someone uglier even than me. Who can this strange looking specimen be? How do you do? I'm the spotted hyena. Who could be uglier? Who could be meaner? My mane is all spiky. My skin is all spotty. No other creature could look quite so grotty. My voice is a mixture of giggles and groans. And I like nothing better than crunching on bones. I must be the ugliest beast in the scrub. Then the wildebeest shouted. Hurrah! Join the club! The two ugly animals ambled along kicking the dust up and singing this song. We're the ugly two, we're the ugly two. We wouldn't win prizes for beauty, it's true. You'll see nothing worse if you go to the zoo. We're the ugly two, we're the ugly two. Well, at least there's two of them now. But who is this hideous bird we can see? Perched on a branch of a powder puff tree. I'm the lappet faced vulture. I'm ugly and bald. No wonder that everyone looks so appalled. I have flaps on my face that are wrinkled and pink. My beak is gigantic. And what's more, I stink. At mealtimes, my habits are really quite vile. I much prefer food that's been dead for a while. I'm clearly a lot more revolting than you. Then the other two shouted. Bravo! Join the crew! The three ugly animals ambled along, splashing through water and singing this song. We're the ugly three, we're the ugly three, the ugliest beast that you're likely to see. You wouldn't be tempted to ask us to tea. We're the ugly three, we're the ugly three. And there goes the ugly three. They really aren't pretty. But who is this animal having a role in the bubbling mud of the watering hole? Hello, I'm the warthog, as ugly as sin, with two pairs of tusks and a bristly chin. My tail stands on end and my body is dumpy. My head is too big and my skin is too bumpy. People are shocked by my deafening snorts. And my face is covered in horrible warts. I'm the worst looking creature from here to Japan. Then the other three shouted, Yippee! Join the clan! The four ugly animals ambled along, scaring the starlings and singing this song. We're the ugly four, we're the ugly four. We're grisly and gruesome and hard to ignore. Take just one look and your eyes will feel sore. We're the ugly four, we're the ugly four. <gasps> They're becoming quite a big crowd now of ugly animals. But who is this perfectly terrible frump raiding the rubbish bins down by the dump? I am the marabou stork, 
and I think you'll agree that no other bird looks as dreadful as me. My wings are enormous. I'm hunched and I'm gangly. And look at my throat pouch. It's all dingly dangly. My legs, long and skinny, are covered in poo. And I'll eat almost anything, even a shoe. I'm a grouchy old grump. I'm a horrible slob. Then the other four shouted, Yoo-hoo! Join the mob! So the five ugly animals ambled along, casting long shadows and singing this song. We're the ugly five, we're the ugly five. Everyone flees when they see us arrive. How can such hideous creatures survive? We're the ugly five, we're the ugly five. And look, there they are, the ugly five. But stop, just a minute, be quiet. Who are these, peeping from burrows and hiding in trees? Look at all these animals hiding in the trees. Who do you think they are? Hello, we're your babies. You give us food and help cheer us up when we're in a bad mood. You clean us and preen us and pick out the nits and we want you to know that we love you to bits. We love all your spots and your warts and your bristles, your grunts and your groans and your hoots and your whistles. We really don't think you look ugly at all. Your beauties, your bombshells, the bells of the ball. You're kind and you're cuddly, you're brave and you're strong. And that is our reason for singing this song. You're the lovely five, you're the lovely five. You're sweeter than honey from bees in a hive. You're quite the most beautiful creatures alive. You're the lovely five, you're the lovely five. <gasps> Isn't that sweet? That's the end of the story. <gasps> what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Yes! What did you learn from this story? I think that what I learned is that beauty comes from the inside. So it doesn't matter what you look like. What matters is that you are kind and friendly to everyone around you, your teachers, your parents, and your friends. That is what makes us beautiful. Do you agree? Yes! Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did, and I'll see you again next time. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>